party freaking people! Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Okay, party people, so it is officially my Friday, which means it is Garrett and I's Christmas Eve, which I am so excited about. Um, Garrett came home last night and he filled up the Christmas tree. <laughs> um, that's not important, but it's so funny because he's literally not here right now because he had to go run some errands. But while I was at work today, he um, like did some dishes, cleaned up a little bit for me, so I'm super thankful because um, I need to do some cooking. I was going to do cooking and cleaning with you guys, but now I only have to do some cooking, which I'm really excited about. Let's go ahead and get started prepping. We're eating dinner in about two hours. Also, I'm sorry to report, I did already have a Celsius while I was, ah! <laughs> while I was editing a video right when I got home and you didn't get the Celsius pop. I'm so sorry, but to such is life, okay? What's up, my friends? Welcome to Voice Over Becky. So I'm going to talk you guys through what I did for our Christmas Eve dinner. I do mention it later in the video, but I do understand this is a lot of food for just two people, but um, we have planned to just eat this food until we travel to see our families for Christmas. So we're going to be eating lots of casseroles for the next few days, but trust me, we've already made a big dent. Like as I'm editing this, we've already made quite a big dent. I just made some compound butter that you're going to later see me melt onto the steaks. You may not see me melt them, but basically after I fry the steak in the skillet, I put this compound butter, like a few little dabs of the compound butter on top of the steak to melt the flavors of the marinade. Also, the marinade that we made the in vlog number 23, vlog mistake 23, it worked so unbelievably well. I was so impressed with the steak that we had on Christmas Eve. It was tender. It was juicy. It had a nice flavor to it. I was a little bit worried about the red wine vinegar because sometimes that flavor can be quite strong, but I think it like did enough to like tenderize the meat. I'm assuming that's what that component was there for, but yeah, it was such an awesome, awesome way to use a cheaper cut of meat and it tasted amazing. Um, the thing I'm working on right now is my granny's dressing. I've been working really hard to perfect my granny dressing. It's like her classic thing that she makes. Update. So last time I made it for Thanksgiving and I made it two sweets. I used the Jiffy cornbread. This time I used the cornmeal that she um, uses. And I think I added too much cornbread because I was like kind of off in my measurements or whatever the night before when I made it. So I had a lot of cornbread. So I was like slowly adding it or whatever. But I felt like it just... <laughs> I had too much, but I mean, like it's good. It tastes, it tastes right. I feel like it also could have added more liquid to it, but that will be definitely for next time. Also, this like container was overflowing because I thought maybe I could use this one for the green bean casserole because it was smaller than the one I was going to need for the mac and cheese, but I ended up having to ask Garrett to stop by Walmart on a way, his way home to get one of those like takeaway pans because I didn't have another like baking dish. Because I use my two bigger ones for the dressing and the green bean casserole that you see there. Also, in order to not get super overwhelmed, I did um, the dishes while I was waiting for the mac and cheese to boil. Like the actual noodles. Also, this mac and cheese is such a labor of love. Specifically because of the grating of the cheese. If you were to just do bag cheese or whatever, it would be fine. Okay. But I grated two whole blocks of cheese and holy cow... <laughs> My hand was hurting so bad. I was like, man, Garrett better freaking love me for this one. But I will say the mac and cheese was super freaking good. I'm not great at making a roux with the flour and stuff. It's definitely more runny when I make it. I don't know if it's impatience or just lack of skill or whatever. But usually on the first go around, my mac and cheese is a little creamier as you see. But on day like two or three or whatever, it gets that nice like baked mac and cheese texture, which is really good for leftovers or whatever. But I will link the recipe that I followed for the mac and cheese. It's super good. Um, but the green bean casserole, I'll just make it like my mom does. I'll also link, link the steak recipe that I followed because I highly recommend it if you find a super cheap cut of meat like using that marinade to help tenderize it. I feel like it did a great job. Also, Garrett got so excited. You'll see him in a second. Like He like clasped his hands over like, oh my gosh, 
<laughs> it was honestly really wholesome. Um, but yeah, that was Christmas Eve dinner. Okay, party people, the labor of love for just Garrett and I is complete. <laughs> Let me show you what we made. Peach dressing, green bean casserole, mac and cheese, rolls obviously, and that chuck steak we prepped together. And just in case it's not good, I bought us some steak sauce to hide the flavor. So, it's gonna be delicious. Merry Christmas Eve, guys. I'm really excited about this. Also, yes, I do realize there's a lot of food for two people. We have no meals planned for the next few days before we travel home. All right, my friends, we just finished dinner and we are about to head out to go look at some Christmas lights. Okay, thank you. Y'all have a great night tonight. Thank, thank you, you, too. Let's park it and get them. Oh, oh my gosh. They're ready. <laughs> All right, stinky booties. No, only one. All right, Malcolm gets daddies and I'll get mamas. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot how messy this is. <laughs> and then not the highlight of the moment because dogs obviously sold the show, but I did get a hot chocolate. A peppermint hot chocolate. I just realized that. I don't think I've ever had peppermint hot chocolate before. Yeah, what made you go peppermint hot chocolate? Because it's Christmas Eve. Oh, you didn't go peppermint hot, peppermint hot chocolate on Christmas Eve last year, though. Oh, but maybe we gotta do it on it the future good. Christmas Eve. Oh my god, try that. Alright, I'll do it. I'm now I'm not a big hot chocolate guy, as you oh, know. Really? Yeah. I, I love how you say as I yeah, as you know as I go, oh really? <laughs> it's good. Tastes like hot candy. Like me. Which is good. <laughs> That's what you are, you're hot candy. <laughs> Okay, my friends, I think we are going to spend the rest of the evening watching some Christmas movies, just the two of us. Garrett went to go get some sheets, the sheets that he washed for us, shout out. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow for Christmas Day. Thanks so much for watching today's video, Vlogmas video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another one. Bye.